to Meditative Sunday. So here we are again. Patrick and Ceci. The song calls. And Meditative Sunday today is taking you on a guided journey into a temple of learning, or other unlearning. When we're making these journeys, we are really entering the symbolic worlds that we often refer to as the worlds of the heart. This particular journey is very exciting to us as we feel very connected to the temples of learning and unlearning that seem to be very significant and important at this time when we're dealing with all these different energies on the outside and of course also in the entire universe, in the ascension of this planet, in the evolution, in all these things that are really occurring. And so these temples of learning and unlearning are very close to our heart. As it is there that we can leave behind all that has kept us in a language and in, a, in mindsets of conditioning, in mindsets of expectations and labels, identities and concepts. And today we are very very excited to take you on this journey so that we can shift also in our language, in our open minds and hearts into these higher dimensions and higher frequencies that are now available. So we have prepared for you to tune in and we're sharing our own stories with you so that they trigger in you what you're bringing to this temple of learning today, what you are releasing and what you are about to get. So Ceci will start. Most of my life I live in a matrix, but I look beyond into the mystic and symbolic worlds. Somehow my language limited me. I was brought up very very mental and rational and logic and linear. Always concerned about the unknown, the danger, the outside of what happened in the matrix. My challenge is to focus, to feel self-worthy and the, have the courage to leave the don'ts behind the buts, the can'ts and the no's. I am inviting the courage and language to step beyond and try to, to step up and live a new life where I can be myself, I, I can feel worthy, I can feel the love around me and even the love that is within and I can share it and shine it. So what does this little story trigger in you? What has your life been in a nutshell in the context that Ceci was sharing with you? Me, I always felt misplaced. I felt I was pushed in a matrix, but I wasn't really there. My world was really outside that matrix. And yet, I felt I had no choice but squeezing myself in. So a lot of my life was indeed in the symbolic world, but I didn't come out, as you would may say, would call it. My challenge was to trust 
and to accept myself, my language, my sound, my eyes of the beyond, the wholeness of the being that I truly am. So I'm here to open up to that freedom, to that voice of the heart. And that wisdom, that phronesis, that practical wisdom that is here to be shared with all. What was your life like in this context? Did you live in the matrix? Did you live outside? What was it like? How was your language conditioned? And how are you ready? to go on this journey with us today. So just spend a moment, the music at the beginning already tuned you in. I'm inviting you now to be conscious of how you sit. Feel your back straight and close your eyes. Connect with your breathing. Inhale very deep. Make a pause and exhale. Make another pause. Inhale. Pause. And exhale. Continue with your rhythm and connect with yourself. Allow your physical body to rest. Imagine every cell, every atom in your body. Start smiling. Let the breath Bring the smiles into your symbolic bodies, into your emotions, into your mind, into your senses. Just let it be. Imagine your psychic body, your soul, your sacred heart. And that too just relaxes. Connect now to your luminous body, to your core, to your source, whatever you want to call it. That natural, infinite you. And imagine in this luminous body, you are now stepping out of the other bodies. Go on this journey to this temple of learning. Imagine you leave your place, your house. You're walking for a while until you don't know the place anymore. After a while, there is a bridge. The bridge into the symbolic realms, into the worlds of the heart. Your true self. On the way to this temple of learning. So you cross that bridge and you may meet us and all the others who are with us today on this beautiful open space. And together we're walking for a while until we come to this temple of learning. Just allow yourself to sense what is it for you, this temple? You may connect to Atlantis or any other place. It's not about the place. It 
is about this temple of learning and unlearning. What are you bringing today? The language then conditioned you and you came to remember the language that frees you. So just allow yourself to enjoy this energy of this temple. Imagine now we are all granted access, the doors are opened. We are brought to a place with many crystals. One of these crystals here represents your source self. You may put it on your forehead to activate the keys and the codes of your true language. And you may even take it with you. You are now being taken to your own library. There's many books. And many books not serve you anymore. Books that have been written in the language of conditioning, of labels, of identities and expectations, of perceptions and false beliefs. So take these books out and join all of us outside as we are burning all of our books that are limiting our language to be that light that we have come to be, especially at this time. Enjoying the fire of all these books of limitation, this language that held us back. Let us be grateful for all the learning they are not our problems. They simply helped us through the dark times so that one day today we could free ourselves and prepare for a new golden age with new language of freedom and love of value and worthiness, of appreciation and connectedness. And whatever you brought today, so return to your library now and receive new books, 
golden books, or maybe only one. And for many of you, it will be totally empty. And for others, there will be a lot of empty pages. For you to write. For you to create. in this, the joy, the celebration. And take just one of these golden books with you, the one that you're going to write in now, to look at this world with different eyes, to start using the language that brings liberation and freedom. So let us all sit together in circle with this beautiful book. be grateful for a moment for all what we have received today the crystal the books that have been burned with all of the old language of conditioning and the new book that you have with you what are the words that are going in there how do you express? How do you create? How do you collaborate? How do you love? And so we're returning from this beautiful temple. And we're making our way back to that beautiful open space before the bridge. And it's there that we say our goodbyes. Wishing each other a beautiful journey with a language of freedom. With a peace of knowing that it will be all right with the courage to show up and to stand up. 
with the love to see it through. And so we're all returning over this bridge and back to our place. In your house, wherever you are sitting. Bring your luminous self back and click it into your psychic body, your symbolic body, and to your physical. And really feel how it clears out this mindset. that have conditioned your language. These lenses of consciousness that have kept you behind the veils. Allow yourself to open your eyes your emotions, your senses, just to notice to hear that voice of the heart and to make that choice of this beautiful conscious language that is now available to you. Fully bring in this book, this golden book. So that you may find the courage to write it, to speak it. Free and in the flow, connected to yourself. and to this amazing energy that is bringing us into this new experience of a golden age. And inhale deeply now, and exhale. And bring your consciousness back in the here and now. And open your eyes. Welcome back. How was it for you? You may want to share how you saw the world and how you're feeling now. We're happy to hear from you, as always. Much love from us to you. And thank you for being always with us. Namaste. Namaste.